Hey, what's up, everybody? It's day 106 of my weight loss journey. A crazy, hectic, busy, filled day. And it is almost 10 o'clock at night, and I'm exhausted. D's exhausted. Everybody's exhausted. But the good news is, we've got it almost conquered. We've got, uh, we had about three big loads over today. We got every all the big stuff moved over. All the unpacking basically done. Everything put away. Kitchen in order. Whew. I actually take a sigh of relief because now we're living over at the new house. That feels great. And last night, no ghost. <laughs> That's the good thing, no ghost. Not that I was worried or anything, but never know. It could have been haunted. Never told us about it. So, no. <laughs> I was honestly just joking about the ghost thing, but D just uh, informed me that the former owner's husband actually passed away in the house that we're in now. I was unaware of that until just now. So now the ghost thing is all back to square one. <laughs> Keep my eyes out for the ghost again. Some old guy peeping in the closet or something. I don't know. All right. Um, tomorrow, tomorrow morning, I got a workout with uh, my clients. Um, I'm going to be doing some testing tomorrow to see uh, see where they're at and uh, to set up a uh, a measurement tool for future use. Um, doing good. You know, I didn't do any extra workout today. I think lifting refrigerators and stoves and and boxes upon boxes upon boxes and unloading all the same stuff I think that consisted of a decent workout you know I wasn't up and hard and sweating or anything but I'm tired I'm spent the good news is I can't say I'm exhausted because I've got energy left because I got some other stuff I want to get done tonight hang up some more curtains in the living room and just do little odds and ends stuff I've got enough energy to do that 60 pounds ago, would I, could I say that? I doubt it. 60 pounds ago, I doubt I could have even done half the stuff I did today. And I did it today with absolute ease. It was easy. So, that's good. I'm happy about that. Uh, let's see, what else? Um, Can you hit? What? Uh, show me your burn marks from you cleaning the stove. I'm not even sure that's what that is. I, they weren't there before you cleaned the stove. And on your arm. Wow, that one looks bad. Tell you what, uh, what is it called? Easy, Easy off? off? Easy off. If you get it on you, it burns. Before we brought the range in, I, I had it sitting outside and I decided we was going to clean it real good before we brought it inside. Used Easy Off and I think I got some on me. Didn't know it at the time, but got some scars or something, some sores on me. I'll be fine. I'm tough. Uh, let's see what else is going on. Alright, I do have one bad story to report on the move. I cannot believe this. I'm still shocked that this happened. I, I just, I'm stunned. We brought Zach's turt over, turtle over today. Zach's had this turtle for over two and a half years. Um, it was a large snapping turtle. It was, it was probably a good size, about six inches at least, probably about eight inches. I mean, it's a nice sized turtle. Well, his cage, his aquarium was pretty uh, dirty. I didn't want to bring him in the house. I want, I was going to take the time and clean out the turtle to clean out his uh, aquarium and stuff. I took. What's his name? Coop. I took Coops out of the aquarium, set him up in the grass. No big deal. He's not going to go anywhere. He's a turtle. Come on now. He's a turtle. Well, I get distracted. My ADD coming out of me, doing a hundred different things at once. So Aaron was outside. He was watching uh, Coops. I go around back, start doing something else. Before I know it, Dee's like, Hey, what'd you do with the turtle? Did you put the turtle back in? I was like, oh, turtle. I'm like, no, he's got, he's outside, but he's okay. He's a turtle. He's not going anywhere. I mean, he's not like he's going to run off or anything. The turtle ran off. 
Koops disappeared. We went out to find the Kurtle. Koops nowhere to be found. Aaron took his eye off of him probably about 10 minutes. Nowhere to be found. We look on under every single bush, you name it. Didn't see any carcasses on the road, so we knew we didn't get hit. Ain't a whole lot of places to go. There's a creek probably about 50, 60 yards down the street. D seems to think that Coop's headed for the creek, <laughs> but I don't know. It just blows my mind that the turtle got away from me. So I owe Zach an apology. Sorry, Zach, I lost your turtle. He didn't seem too upset about it when I told him. He's like, yeah, he was a boring pet anyway. <laughs> Moral of the story, <laughs> turtles are faster than they appear, especially when they feel freedom. Their nose ain't hitting up against the aquarium. They're going to take off for dear life. So stay motivated. Be great. Fat man. That goofy fat man, what's he think? He's going to just sit around and let him put me back in that aquarium? Heck no. Sorry, Zach, you've been good to me, but I'm out of here.